Okay, continuing on the yellow slice, this is going to be cumulative frequency distributions and ogives. So, what we're going to do here is uh, to notice that we have a story, but the key element of this is that it tells us that we have a total n or a total sample size of 25. And uh, also notice that these are relative frequencies so that all of these decimals here must add up to be 100% of 25, uh, which of course is, is going to make this total be 1. So what we need to do then is to create this ogive or this relative frequency uh, distribution. And so what we do then the first time is we simply take the first bar. Then we take the first plus the second bar. Then we take the first plus the second plus the third bar. And then finally, at the last, we do all of them. So we just do those in steps. Now the first bar, notice, is 24. And so uh, that's going to be 0.24. So we're going to plot that not here, but on the second dot. This one's the 0. That corresponds to this 0 here. We haven't gone through the first bar yet. So at the end of the first bar, we're at 0.24. But we have to have a way to make that. So what we're going to do then is to type the 0.24 here and then hit the uh, plot button and that'll put us a line. So grab a hold here and pull up to the point 24. Okay, now we take the first and the second bars. So if you need to, you can use your Alex calculator for that. You can add them in your head, point 24 plus point 32. And that's going to give us point 56. So what we'll do then is to get our point 56 and plot that and pull that up and then we'll just continue to do that. I think I'll go ahead and work those. You might go ahead and work along with me and see if you get the uh, same answers I do, but I'll just go ahead and finish this for you now. And here is the uh, finished ogive. Let's check it and see that uh, we are good here. And Alex likes it. Now you have to watch, there are three different varieties of this. Sometimes they just want the frequencies themselves. Other times they'll want a, a relative frequency, in which case you may have to make some of your own decimals by taking the height of each bar and dividing it by its total. And in this case here, they've already done the uh, math for you and given you the decimals. So be on the lookout for three different varieties of this type of problem.